Hello and welcome to our channel. This time, we will highlight the differences between Tor and I2P for you. Most internet users use and browse what's available on what's known as the clinic. Popular search browsers such as Google or Bing, or internet browsers such as Chrome or Firefox, only help you in finding and browsing the sites that are available on the clinic. But there are also websites and content that are available and accessible in what's called the DeepNet, and some programs are made with the purpose of letting you access and browse these contents. Two of the more prominent ONS are called Tor, the Onion Routing, and I2P, the Invisible Internet Project, which we discuss and compare in this video. Both of these programs let you browse and access the deep net in a safe and anonymous way using various technologies to make your IP, actions, and location harder to trace. The biggest difference could be that by using TOR, you can also browse the clinet, while when using I2P, you are limited to browsing the content on the I2P network, which makes it safer in a sense, since tracking clinet activity by ISPs is a lot easier. Tor relies on the volunteers around the world to run the nodes necessary for the network to be functional. Tor gives different responsibilities to each participant of the network, with titles such as clients, routers, and exits, with subcategories within them that makes their job different to each other. I2P, on the other hand, is a peer-to-peer -peer network where every participant of the network has the same status and responsibilities. Every node on the I2P network is going to contribute to the network. This makes I2P a much more decentralized network since it doesn't rely on volunteer nodes around the world that contribute their resources to the network as every participant is by nature forced to contribute. In comparison to I2P, Tor is more suited to browsing the clinet anonymously, whereas I2P is preferred if you are going to use them for torrenting purposes. Torrenting on the Tor network puts heavy strain on the network and so is not recommended. Whereas I2P network doesn't have a problem with torrenting because of its more peer-to-peer -peer nature and in fact, torrenting helps the functionality of the I2P network instead of putting in strain on it. Hidden sites and content can be viewed by using both Tor or I2P, but the Tor network is a lot more vulnerable to DDoS, distributed denial of service, attacks, whereas the I2P network can actually benefit from these kinds of attacks because by doing so, the attacker node would be contributing to the peer-to-peer -peer network. Tor makes use of onion routing, where every message is encapsulated in layers of encryption, and the routers of the network are tasked with the responsibility of decrypting, peeling away these layers of encryption and delivering the decrypted message to the recipient. This form of encryption is vulnerable to a certain kind of attack called the timing analysis, which is done by ISPs. When a package of data is sent through an HTTPS connection, the data itself might not be discernible by the ISPs, but the time that the data was sent and the amount of the data that was sent by the user would still be obvious. The ISP can then track the message and keep track of its movements between different destinations. Golig routing is an extension of the onion routing which is used by the I2P network that fixes these kinds of security vulnerabilities. In garlic routing, several messages are encrypted together and then sent through the network to be decrypted and delivered. Because of this, timing analysis would be made much more difficult. TOR is by far a bigger and more popular project with a huge user base compared to I2P and a much bigger funding to go with it. I2P has a more complex way of making sure of the anonymity of their users, but because of the smaller user base, using TOR might still be safer and more anonymous in a sense. Websites on the Onion network and with the dash dot onion phrase, whereas website on the I2P network and with I2P. These sites are accessible using certain websites that crawl the network and list the available sites that can be browsed by their users. In the end, both of these networks help their users browse internet in an anonymous and safe way. Tor has a bigger user base and more censorship resistant technologies, but I2P seems to be a promising alternative that can be looked up to. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.